Jones Journals. Today uh, I'm gonna show you our collection of A Junk Journals. If you follow us on Instagram, you I think you may know about this release. And um, before I'll start, I would like to share with you a postcard that I'm gonna mail to our subscribers. I know that I should um, have shown them in in our previous video but I received this postcard just yesterday so I decided to show it today because it's bet, uh, it's better to show it now than never so as I promised in those video by the way I will leave links to that video in the pinned comments under this video or somewhere out somewhere around like a uh, will attach like a card so don't miss it and as I promised they are all related to Christmas or winter time so here we have this beautiful like cafe entrance with this uh, Christmas tree and uh, falling snow so here we have this beautiful um, lighthouse like also in a snow storm and um, here we have two different but both of them are beautiful uh, houses like something between Gothic and Victorian houses I would say and this is uh, a, like a diagon, diagon alley from Harry Potter I hope I pronounced it, I pronounced it right all these postcards were um, painted by local artists and uh, I purchased it from a shop and of course I will add beautiful stamps to this uh, postcard like this one with this uh, Christmas uh, tree I hope you can see it unfortunately I can't, I can't zoom in because it will be like blurry if you are interested in receiving one of those postcards you still can uh, participate you just need to follow the link to, in the pinned um, comment and uh, you will have a chance so this is simple, you just need to go there, watch that video and follow like instructions that I uh, uh, shared with you. Anyway, let's move to these uh, journals and uh, I will be back in a second. So, as I mentioned before, we have eight journals. They have similar, like, um, way, uh, they look similar, but they have different themes and of course they um, have different um, signatures with different um, decorative elements and stuff and since I have eight of them I won't um, tell you about their sizes and amount of pages if you are interested you can follow the links in the info box below this video and actually you will see there are two links to each journal the first link is to uh, the available journal but if you click there and the journal journals has um, like has, has already gone, you can uh, click to the second link and follow like and it will and you will get to the page with made to order journals. They will be our made to order journals will be really really closer to what you see now, especially the cover will be really close to that but we will have a few maybe changes inside of uh, those journals. So here we have uh, two, the sm two smallest uh, journal and the first one is related to mushroom, woodland and nature and the second one is like um, a celestial journal or cosmic or dream journal and actually um, I would like to mention that we create these charms on a chain and it's quite loose so you can easily move it around and it won't affect your writing in any way so don't worry about that and anyway you can um, get rid of them if you don't like um, tassels on your journals and um, let's start with this um, botanical one so this is uh, the back of uh, the front cover and the back cover the spine is like that, it has uh, three signatures inside so you can add, add the title here and inside we have quite a few things like 
this pocket with this hand stamped and then a uh, fussy cut um, label. Places for writing, like extra places for writing with this mushroom. Just a piece of washi tape. Here we have this a piece of tracing paper, a note paper, and this is actually a vellum, small vellum card. I just saw it around. A few pages for writing, and you can flip this this up and you can see this beautiful mushroom and of course you can glue something over that page to have more space for writing so here we have different types of paper and here we have this pocket with this craft tag inside okay here we have this um, page with extra um, like reprint of, of an old ticket and this um, beautiful vellum base uh, journaling card just a mushroom on this um, book page and this book page is in German so here you have places for writing like a corner spot here another uh, place for one like more space for writing and here we have this extra page for writing just a sticker here and they are really cute and small, it's really nice to go through such journals. So here we have this tuck spot in the shape of a mushroom. We left all tails hanging like that, but if you don't like, you can cut it or trim it. And here we have another like tuck spot, but this time it's a tuck, a top tuck spot. Another vellum piece for you to add it to any page on in this journal or another journal, he will have this like um, um, tea bag, like extra page for writing, like that. Page from a notebook, acrylic date paper. He will have another tax spot with this beautiful idea. He will have this uh, belly band with extra. Um, paper for writing these journals are quite small but you still can use it so here at this pocket with a tag with quite beautiful actually tag and this skeleton leaf you can use it to write something small or you can have it like you know a decorative element or if you would like if you wanted to purchase something from our store but wasn't sure to purchase you can purchase such small journals I don't waste lots of money so here we have extra like um, reprinted tickets for writing because they are plain on the back side they look like that and I decided to edit this small and beautiful wooden uh, clip and here we have this big pocket and you can put something in because it's it's empty for now but you can put something from your own stash there so this was the very first uh, junk journal with these beautiful charms and here we have the celestial journal also with uh, alike charms but of course with different uh, with alike chain but different charms so here we have this planet and some um, watch uh, hands and of course this like gel, it's like jingle bell, something like that. And um, so here we have this, the very first page with this extra page for writing, it's just a label I uh, Fix it with this paper clip in, in the golden color so you can add glue it, whatever you would like. So here we have this small tuck spot made out of a paper doily. Just decorative elements here that you also can use like a tuck spot, both of them. Extra pages for writing, a page, of, uh, like a book page in German. Here we have this tuck spot. And here we have this pocket with extra paper for writing. And you can uh, add something here too. 
from your own uh, stash. Here you have this uh, pocket. And actually it's a tax pot at the same time. Different types of paper and here you have this belly band. Just a sticker here. Another um, part of that doily and I added this reprinted ticket to that um, like spot. You have this top tax spot with these um, extra journaling cards. And here we actually have this um, uh, like tag and a really small and cute envelope and I embossed it with our embossing folder. And of course you can add something inside of this um, uh, envelope if you would like. Another small tax spot here in the shape of a star. A few pages for writing, just a sticker here, different types of paper, one more tax spot here with this um, tag, shaped page, place for writing. Here you have this pocket with this beautiful um, a shaped tag in the shape of a jar and I just stencil it with these uh, stars. Page for writing. Okay, here we have this just extra page for writing. Here we have this tax spot or a pocket. Just decorative element here, and here we have this pocket with a few um, pieces. Like we have this um, extra uh, paper for writing. Okay, and here we have the last page also with. Oh, of the last page with the last pocket, a, a pocket and extra uh, paper for writing again. So this is how this journal look. The back side is like that. And let's move to bigger journals. I'm afraid this video is going to be quite long. So I think it's time to have a cup of tea, coffee, milk or whatever you prefer. I have my cup of um, orange tea, like right to me, next to me. And uh, let's see the a, a bit bigger journals. So here we have this um, Woodland journal and Alice in Wonderland. And I would like to start with Alice in Wonderland, mostly because I really love how this like um, wine red goes together with this uh, Cooper, um, metallic Cooper paint. So this is how the cover look and this is the back side. Quite simple, but it took us a while to create those in journals. So it's quite like Alice-ish, I would say thin. So here we have this tax spot, extra vellum journaling card for writing. And here we have this bottle, uh, like a tag in the shape of a bottle, pages for writing. And here we have this side spot, a bit of stamping, paper doily, just a page from like, it's a um, printed out page with this uh, script. Uh, script. You have this Alice um, page, and you have this uh, big pocket with this um, blend. You have this extra paper for writing, and you have another bottle, but this time it's actually a like double bottle, so you can write. You have four like spaces for writing and as well I added this um, uh, like thread. I think it's look quite interesting and quite Alice-ish. <laughs> so yeah. And you have this shaped tuck spot like like chess um, figure. And you have another extra page for write extra notebook for writing, a sticker here, and uh, I added this uh, embossed uh, page also, just a decorative element here, and you have this pocket, 
places for writing, a shape tuck spot here. I added this uh, like library card, it's how they look over here. You have this shaped pocket in the shape of a tag with two reprinted uh, tickets. Another tuck spot here. You have this uh, like top tuck spot with this extra page for writing. A really small and cute tuck spot. A pocket here with a tag or a journaling card. Another journaling card and a tag here. Here we have this uh, like big pocket with a smaller pocket on it and a super small tag. Another uh, tag spot with a tag and just a piece of um, lace and this skeleton leaf. And of course charms look, look like that and we added this red a wooden heart and something related to Alice and Wonderland like keys and um, playing cards and so on. And now we have this uh, journal. It's like plant or botanical journal. I'm sorry if I move. Okay, it's bad now. And um, here we have this uh, first page with a pocket here. This is a really beautiful sticker. Different types of paper. Here we have this embossed paper. A belly band with this big uh, sticker. Here we have this tuck spot. A page with this leaf. A page from a book of mushroom. Okay, just decorative element here. And here we have this uh, vellum journaling card. And here we have this pocket with a few um, Tim Holtz die cut elements. Like extra place for writing here. And here we have a tuck spot and a pocket. Another pocket here with two reprinted old tickets and this is a um, lace that I added here. A, book from, a page from a book of mushroom. Here we have this small envelope with this stitched vellum piece and inside you can find a skeleton leaf and a beautiful tag. This is like a handmade paper. Here we have this um, big pocket. And on the other side, ah, sorry, I fixed a few pages together. So here we have this uh, tag. Another um, library card for you to use it as a tag. A shaved pocket here. Handmade paper. Okay. You have this tag, journaling card, and this pocket with this plant. And this is how this journal looks like. I try to do it quite fast, but I'm still not quite. But I'm still not fast enough. And let's move to the next size. And now we have the, these two journals. The first one is related like to sea, traveling, like marine journal. And this one is a beautiful lady journal. And this picture was uh, covered with acrylic -like paint. So it's look quite old. And I would like to start with uh, this um, journal. And actually this is like um, Catherine... Uh, this journal has uh, the name and it's called uh, The Love Letters of Catherine. I don't know why, but it looks so romantic and so vintage that I think that it's a good name or title. Actually, this is um, elastic lace. 
it's quite loosey but I leave it like that because if you will put something inside you can you can still use this um, like closure and this journal has quite usual um, tassel also with different beautiful charms and beads and a few pieces of seam binding and this tassel and um, and the back side also look like that and um, okay I use a uh, graphic 45 um, paper to use inside of this uh, journal and you have this pocket with two reprinted uh, tickets this is a letter paper here we have, here we have just decorative um, like extra place for writing on this uh, music paper a doily here this is an ephemera and you can uh, use it inside of this journal I added this uh, really old printed out um, map pages for writing and as an embossed page here and I added this beautiful tracing paper it looks quite gentle and it goes perfect with this journal so here we have this like um, fabric embellishment it was a uh, coffee dyed before I use it in this journal and here we have this big tax pot with a few um, like decorative elements and this is how it looks on the back side a few turns of uh, lace here and this is a uh, reprinted ledger paper and a really huge um, ephemera piece here we have a fold out also printed out and I added this beautiful uh, like acetate based sticker here another piece of uh, lace here we have this chuck spot different uh, pages for writing and here we have this just a decorative element that I stapled and as a fold out here we have this uh, belly band. I just cut these um, three um, drawing cards together and decided to leave it like that. For me, it looks quite beautiful. So here we have this big pocket. And here we have this um, envelope. It's empty, so you can put something uh, from your stash inside of this uh, pocket. Oh, sorry, envelope. Here we have this uh, tax spot just decorative uh, piece here and here you have this uh, shaped um, like pocket um, and um, actually it's like a lines from a poem and it says love is so short forgetting is so long but by Pablo Neruda so here you have this shaped tuck spot or just a decorative element I added this skeleton leaf here so a few pages for writing and keeping your pictures and here we have this uh, two, uh, the first ephemera piece and the second ephemera piece and as well I added this uh, extra pocket with some embellishment that you then you that you can use uh, to decorate your um, journal to add them to pages and make them more personal I would say and let's move to the second journal and I love creating serrated journals because I love blue color and I love how blue goes with red and white and I think we have some trouble here okay so I really love these uh, lighthouses and this real, uh, like, I forget how it's called. I think it was a seashell, right? <laughs> and um, this anchor and other elements. And I need to move my journal here so you will see it better. So here we have this um, tax spot with a journaling card, extra page for writing. 
another uh, extra page for writing or you can trim it and use it to decorate your pages if you print if you printed out pages and you have this big uh, page a big pocket that are made out of a journaling card this is um, a, like a page for coloring and you have just this beautiful uh, page I don't know just decorative element but I think it's look quite nice and on the other side we have this small tuck spot or side spot I just stick this page around just decorate like decorative element here and here we have this shock okay another pocket here extra page for writing and here we have this long um, envelope to put something long and big inside of course I decorated it a bit another stitch out uh, stitch around pages with this decorative element so here we have this decorative element and a small triple like pocket so here we have this small pocket small envelope sorry two pockets here pages for writing of course and actually it's a, it flips out like that and here we have this a journaling uh, card in a pocket Another shape tuck spot here with this journaling card and it says hello my name is it's a tuck, top tuck spot here we have this long pocket and a tuck spot on it a page from a book uh, like a um, map card and here we have this beautiful and quite interesting um, fish it's a coloring page so I added this uh, made out of uh, dressing paper pocket. I made it myself and I added a few embellishments in this uh, pocket. And here we have this pocket with a few extra em em embellishments or ephemera. Tr triple tuck spot here. Another uh, stitched around page. And here we have this um, page with two ephemera pieces and a pocket here. So here we have two last journals and they are quite big and the first one is a botanical journal and the second one is this beautiful lady journal and I also would like to start with uh, the lady journal so the cover looks like that with this beautiful um, lady and I call this a journal the lady in white I know that it sound like um, an old Detective by Wilkie Collins, but it has nothing in common. I just uh, Call it because this lady dressed in a white in something white So it, this journal also has quite usual charms. I we decided that it goes better with this uh, theme so we decided not to add chain and Let's see what it has inside of course, we added beautiful um, uh, like flower paper. Here we have these really big uh, pockets and this decorative element. So here we have this um, sticker sheet. You just need to cut it on your own. And this beautiful um, vellum um, envelope. This is a printed out page a few pages for writing and as a printed out page a paper doily and here we have this pocket with um, like frame uh, a really vintage uh, music sheet here we have this tuck spot just a sticker and um, beautiful um, bird for coloring here we have this lacy pocket with a journaling card inside just a decorative element here but you can write on that of course different types of papers and here we have another pocket and actually this pocket has a tuck spot over 
and here we have this big pocket, one more big pocket with this round uh, window and a lace. Here we have top tax port and a side pocket. Sorry, we have top pocket and side pocket. I added this ruffle here, a stitched uh, map, printed out page from my personal kit. And we, uh, yeah, I also added this beautiful tracing paper. You have this uh, paper like um, pocket made out of um, an old paper, so I have to reinforce it with this, with two types of washi tape. Here we have this um, small um, envelope and a reprinted ledger paper ephemera. And it also quite, it's empty inside, so you can put something from your own ephemera collection. I'm pretty sure that each of one has quite impressive ephemera collections. And here we have this extra black page for writing or extra element for writing. It's separate and it repeats the cover of this journal. So here we have this pocket with two ephemera pieces. Pages for writing. I added this beautiful uh, sticker. Another part of that dressing paper, a fold out page, a few pages for writing, another decorative element here on a really, really vintage paper. As you can see, it's even tear a bit. And here we have this um, small pocket and super big pocket. Yep, and we have just one more journal to go through and actually I'm tired a bit and I need to film or sorry I need to take photos of the journal so I will have to take like 80 at least 80 uh, photos if everything will, will go right or more if I will have to reshoot some of them so this is the cover of the last uh, journal. The back side is like that. And let's see what it has inside. We also add this vintage and beautiful um, paper, pet pattern paper. You have this pocket and a bell band. You have this extra like element for writing or to you can tuck something under that. A few pages for writing, of course, and here we have this really interesting separate element. It looks like, I don't know, like a paper clip, I would say. I just created it with no particular reason, <laughs> but it looks quite nice. Print it out page, here we have this um, envelope with two reprinted tickets. Um, double pocket here, the first one and the second one. I saw this page around and added to Mulberry Leaf here, printed out page, again a pocket with a few Tim Holtz uh, die cut uh, element, shipped uh, lace here, really old and vintage uh, paper here with this tuck spot, another part of that envelope and I just added a um, tea dyed piece of paper in this one just a page that look like that i use negative after die cutting this paper is really beautiful i didn't want to cover it so i'd leave it i left it like that you have this uh, fold out another printed out page and a page with this um leaf You have tax spot and a place for writing. A letter paper here. I added a few uh, leaf he leaves here. Okay, pages for writing and different textures of paper. And here we have this. Um, it's a big tax spot, but at the same time, you can see this pressed flower in this CD case. So here we have this um, um, 
um, lace that I used to stitch this um, envelope to this page. You have this big, um, oh sorry, this lacy pocket, and actually I left it left it like that. But you can cut it uh, to your to your preferable size. A pocket, uh, an envelope here. Pages for writing, a handmade paper, uh, coloring uh, page for coloring. Another stitch round page, print it out page, a pocket here. A few pages for writing and for gluing your pictures. And I think we have, yeah, we have this one last belly band here that looks like that. And this is it. So, yeah, I finally shown you showed you all eight journals and of course i will leave all necessary links in the info box below this video and uh, thank you very much for stopping by and for for being with us i would be grateful if you can leave any comment in the info box below uh, like in the comment section below this video to support us because it wasn't easy to work on such big project i would say and um, we just need a bit of support, I think. So, anyway, don't forget that I still can mail you a postcard. I will leave all links to the inf in the info box, so don't miss it. And I hope to see you on Sunday with another John Journal with me video. And next week I have a tutorial for you. And I hope I will be able to voice over it. Anyway, I'm really thankful for everything and I hope to see you on Sunday. Don't forget to stay inspired and bye-bye!